You may know that medical coding is hot right now, like super hot, but what the heck is it? When you're treated by a doctor for pretty much any reason, a record is created. It includes symptoms, tests that are performed like blood tests and x-rays, your diagnosis, and any treatment that may occur. Wait, this is already starting to sound complicated. Let me make it easier. Let's say your leg hurts. In fact, let's say you were running down a mountain and you tripped. You heard a deafening crack echo around you, accompanied by excruciating pain and a blood-curdling screech. That's your own scream. It's probably a good idea to go see a doctor immediately. The doctor can see that your leg is protruding at a funny angle, and he moves it around to your agony and then performs an x-ray. Sure enough, the x-ray shows a broken bone. Finally, the doctor loads you up with some serious pain medication, realigns the bone, puts on a lovely cast. Now, not only is this entire experience documented, it is then coded from those documents. So what exactly is coding? Oh yeah, I did promise to tell you that. You see, doctors are kind of funny this way. They want to get paid for seeing you and treating you. But how do they get paid? By what are called diagnostic and procedural codes. First, your complaint. Help, I think my leg is broken. It's put into medical language. The patient has a fracture. And then a medical coder translates that medical language into numbers, a standardized coded language that insurance companies, healthcare facilities, and government agencies all understand. In this particular case, the diagnosis code for broken femur is S72.301A. The procedural code for treatment, applying a cast from femur to toe, is 29345. You see, codes.